What's up my plant people? I am back again, Devin with Plant Vibrations. I'm here with a very, very special plant um, called the Anthurium vitarifolium. This has been a wishlist plant for me for many, many years and I finally got one and I wanted to do a, a nice little video showing exactly how to care for it, how to repot it into a larger pot and where I'm gonna put it in my growing house plant garden. So if you're here for the first time, Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the video, like the video as well. I try to post videos twice a week, a short video during the week, and then a longer video like this one during the weekend. Um, so if you are a returning plant lover, welcome back, glad to see you again. Okay. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the Anthurium vitarifolium, this is a beautiful plant. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know that Anthurium, the genus Anthurium is one of my favorites. It's a very special plant for me. Um, the classic heart-shaped, kind of waxy red flowered Anthurium, that is uh, one of the plants got that got my love for plants really kind of just like exploded. So since then I was, you know, I a few years ago I was awakened into the incredible variety of, of anthuriums that are able to be grown inside the home with ease. And the Anthurium vitar vitarifolium is just as easy. This is a gorgeous hanging plant. You could see, you could imagine hanging it over the side of a bookshelf or a table. It is absolutely stunning. Um, now, in terms of care, it's, it's very, very similar to those classic red waxy flowered anthurium. They like to be in a warm room, you know, between like 60 and 80 degrees. You, they don't like to be much colder than that. Um, and a little bit warmer than that is gonna be a little bit stressful as well. So having, you know, average room temperatures is perfectly fine year round. They don't need some sort of extreme uh, warmth in the summer and coolness in the winter. They're very kind of even keel, mellow plants. Just look at them, they, they don't they, they just kind of like speak to you just like, all right, they're laid back, they're chill, and they really are an easy plant to grow. Yes, they are hard to find, and yes, they are expensive, but if you do make that investment, investment in beauty, investment in plants, what, what better investment is there? You will have the enjoyment of a beautiful plant for many years, it's a, it's a long lived plant. Um, but one thing that you also want to consider is the lighting situation. Like other anthuriums, they don't need to be in that bright, direct southern facing window. These windows over here are in the southern facing uh, direction. I am going to be placing it on that beautiful bookshelf that I'm slowly starting to fill out, but that is a little bit further out of the way of the sunlight, so it's not getting hit by the sunlight. You can also see I have some um, grow lights get, that I've been setting up. I'm not going to put this under a grow light. It doesn't need that. It just it, like the brightness of this room, a bright indirect location is exactly what they need. Now in terms of the soil media, so the, I will be using a specific aeroid mix that my friends um, uh, that share a greenhouse with myself and my family, um, a, a company called PA Orchid Exchange out of um, Eastern Pennsylvania, they have awesome plants. I also acquired this plant through them, so if you are looking for this plant, they may have some more in stock, but they also create awesome blends for aeroids, um, like perfect aeroid blend. And I'm gonna be using this, it's what's been grow it is what it has been growing in, and it's kind of like a combination of uh, pine bark, expanded perlite, there's some, what else is in here? Some black lava, I, th I think some sphagnum moss, um, and some, yeah, I think that's about it. Maybe a few other things as well. It's a perfect mix for growing your anthuriums, uh, like this anthurium, vitarifolium, as well as other aeroids, because it is very well draining. It's going to, uh, you know, acquire the hydra. It's gonna, uh, when you water it, it's gonna maintain that humidity for a little while, but at the same time, it allows the water to pass through very well. So. They like to be planted and grown in nice, light and airy conditions. Now, now when it comes to plants like this Anthurium vitarifolium, I like to plant them in terracotta, other clay, glaze ware, um, 
containers that age well because these will these plants are long lived i like to plant my long lived plants in containers that age well like this terracotta it's, i think it's beautiful um, and they're you know they, they're just very effortless uh, growing in this terracotta now there's two things to consider yes these anthurium will flower and like if you have other gorgeous anthuriums like anthurium uh, clara nervum that's another one that i have um, growing at my parents house right now the flowers themselves are a little bit inconspicuous. They're not super showy. It's really all about the foliage. Um, one way to encourage flower formation is to keep them in small pots. That restricts their root system and kind of stresses them out a little bit and gives them a signal to produce those flowers. If you want longer, bigger foliage, you can gradually upplant them into larger containers. And that's what I would prefer. I'm not, you know, I don't, the flowers, if they happen, that's awesome. But if not, that's fine too. I would like to have larger, thicker, um, more foliage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up pot this into an eight inch pot today. Okay, so I have this nice container. It's like one size up, going from like a six inch to an eight inch is perfect. You don't want to go from like a six inch to a 10 inch or a six inch to a 12 inch. That's just gonna, it's, you know, the roots are gonna be swimming in that soil and that's not what you want. You want them to be, you want them to be snug. You want them to be cozy. You don't want them to be swimming in like a triple XL sweater. Okay, so let's get this potted up. First things first, always start by placing some of the, the new potting media into the bottom of your container. Kind of guesstimate to where you think it will go. Um, okay, you can see this mixture is super porous. It's, it has some really large particles. So what that really means for you is that when you water, the water will pass through. The roots will absorb what they want and the rest is gonna just pass right through. So now let's pop it out. Try to make as little mess. Okay, that's pretty good. Look at this beautiful roots, root system. It's great, it's beautiful. Okay, so the first thing that I like to always do, I like to try to get as much of that old soil off as possible. The reason I like to do this is because I just like, if I'm gonna repot it, I wanna give it as much fresh new potting media as possible. And it's also going to free up some of the roots and encourage them to start growing again once I've placed it in the new pot with the new soil, okay? So you see, I kind of just wiped away as much as possible. And now, Let's set it in here. Okay. Now this will be trailing, so the roots will kind of go in one direction and that's all good. Now I'm just going to by hand fill in the rest. Okay, the roots are pretty much, you know, sitting in place. So now I'll pour some in just to try to cover any exposed areas or any air pockets. Now, like the crown of your plant will most likely be exposed. It was exposed when I got it. So I'm going to allow it to remain how it was. Some of these roots like this one and this one, these are aerial roots that are popping out. And that's just perfectly fine, okay? I'm gonna try to pack it in a little bit. What do you think? Looks pretty darn good. Next step is we want to water it. I'm gonna borrow a plant tray. This one right here for my Christmas cactus for a moment. Okay, and I want you guys to see, I'm gonna give it some water 
And you'll see the benefits of using this soil, soil media. So I'm going to water it and, you know, I just got this plant. I've never watered it before, but I can pretty much guarantee you that water is going to flow right through and that's exactly what we want. Okay, give it a nice water, help the roots settle. Okay, maybe you can see, maybe you can hear it, that water is absolutely passing through and that's what we want. You can imagine where these come from in like the jungles of South America. They get these quick rainfalls that just kind of like splash the plants with some water and then it just kind of filters through, uh, probably down the side of a mountain or something like that. And it really is as easy as that. They like a good amount of humidity. You know, if you have a humidifier, that's great. If not, because we're using this porous medium, we're probably gonna be watering it relatively often, even in the wintertime, maybe once every four days or so. In the summertime, maybe every other day. Um, you wanna make sure that the soil media remains moist, not sopping wet. Um, giving it that bright direct light and maintaining room temperatures, you know, between that general kind of like feel good temperature. If you're comfortable in your house, then your anthurium vitarifolium is gonna be comfortable as well. Okay? Now the fun part, time to place it. What do you think, here or one more? One more? Let's try it. Ah, uh, yes, much better. All right, so I think I found its new home. Pretty stunning plant, isn't it? Um, I like to have it in a place where I can see it pretty much all the time. When I'm in the kitchen, I can look over and enjoy its beauty. When I'm at my desk, I can uh, turn around and just gaze at it for a little bit. It's a really easy plant to grow. Anthurium vit vitarifolium, yes, it is a little bit challenging to find, but you know, like many things in life, the hunt is part of the fun. Um, and once you do find it and add it to your home garden, you will be blessed with its beauty for many years. It's a very, very long-lived, beautiful plant. And that's what I love about it. If this is your first time here at Plant Vibrations, make sure you click that like button and click subscribe to get notifications of when I upload my weekly videos. That way you can enjoy more plant life and learn more about Mother's Nature's, Mother Nature's bounty um, alongside with me. So I think that covers just about everything. So I hope to see you guys soon. I will be back in just a few short days. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.